Hey everybody, this is Matt Sloan from Sensory Fitness. I want to revisit a blog I wrote a while ago about kids writing on themselves. In the blog, I talk about my own son who would have crayon or marker or pen drawn all over his skin, his face, which, you know, at, at, at home, it's not the end of the world, but when you're about to go out in public, maybe I don't want the tattooed man rolling into the, into the Denny's to sit down. So having a tactile seeker, or a voider in your home can make life very difficult. Understanding what my kid may be seeking, what sensory input they might be seeking or they might be avoiding can be a game changer. We wanna give our kids the sensory input they might be seeking in an adaptive way, in a functional way, because they're gonna look for it anyway, so we might as well give it to them in a way that suits them in a way for their bodies to get what it needs in order for their brains to be organized. So if you do have a tactile seeker or even an avoider at home, these are some activities you can do to help their tactile system get a little bit more integrated, a little more jived, okay? Here, so here's some activities you can do. Okay, the first one's an easy one, crashing. Crashing is great. I can do this at home, at a gym, on a, on a couch, in on a crash pad. I'm Jumping is great, but it's the crashing I'm looking for, the tactile impact. I'm looking for impact. Ways to get that skin and hair impacted on a, on a something soft. It's not going to injure me, and their body gets what it needs to, be, to help their brains get organized. Another way is deep pressure. Here's my son. We're just working on some reading, rolling around on a yoga ball. That yoga ball is providing that deep pressure. So yeah, he's not under it, but he's on top of it. It's getting, he's getting kind of getting that squish onto his chest. That's another form of tactile input. He can be on top of it or under it, getting the crush, that deep, different ways to find how to give deep pressure to help the tactile system. Another way could be friction, or this is kind of a combination of friction and deep pressure. He's inside lycra, it's squishing him, he's pushing a ball through the tunnel. You can, If you have a lycra tunnel, this is great to do at home, or if you have a sheet, something to find ways to kind of get that deep pressure and that friction. An easier one to do is that you know, all you need is a sheet and a floor. Another great way to get friction. Put him in a sheet or a piece of lycra or something and drag him around. There it is. I'm looking for that friction. Remember, skin and hair is my tactile system. So I want to look for that ways to get uh, friction. So th those are three simple ways to help the tactile system jive a little bit. Deep pressure impact and friction three simple ways different way defining out different ways to in, implement that at your home at your gym wherever it is you're working with your your kids your clients or your own kids and for those kids that are writing on themselves i gotta ask why why am i writing on myself well they're looking for what is that it could be friction it could be a form of deep pressure they're, it feels good on their skin and they're getting that tactile input. They're doing that to, so their body gets what it needs so they can organize their minds. So let's give it to them in a functional way. Just like if you're hungry and you're proactive about finding that food, you're going to go to the grocery store and you got to buy the healthier food so you can feed yourself. As opposed to I didn't, I was not proactive and I'm driving by Mickey D's. Oh, I'm going to stop in. I'm going to get myself a burger because they're delicious, but it's not as good for me. It's, it's it, They're both going to do the job, but one is a little bit healthier for me and it's going to get my get me my body the proper nutrients. And the other one's going to do the same job, but it's not as healthy for me. In this case, adaptive versus non-adaptive or functional versus not functional. Come to sensoryfitness.org for more sensory tips. Read my blog. If you got any questions, reach out anytime. Uh, have an excellent, healthy, sensory full day.